Welcome to New Game Play today. I am, will be playing the part of Jeff Cork today. I'm Leo Vader. I'm joined by Jeff Markiafava. Hey, Cork. Hey. How's it going? I'm so good. And my co-host today, Ben Hansen. And I'm playing Leo. <laughs> oh, that's just weird. Very impressive. Thank you. Uh, so, Jeff Markiafava, you told me that this game weird. is like XCOM with Hitman elements. And it is. My jorts were ruined. <laughs> oh. They were. I can confirm. So right now it looks like more XCOM than Hitman. Do you just say Hitman to get Leo down in the studio to yeah, record this? Pretty much anything. Anytime I need Leo's attention, I just yell out Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so so it is the style of game is XCOM, but there's more emphasis on stealth than actual combat, which is where the Hitman elements come in. Okay. If if you alert everyone in a mission. Uh, to your whereabouts, and they start attacking you, then you've done something wrong. Really? And what is this game, and what do you think of it? The game is Phantom Doctrine, and I am enjoying it. It's a strategy game like XCOM, as we've said, um, but it's kind of 1980s spy versus spy-ish kind of action. Okay. No so aliens? No aliens, not yet. That leads me to believe that like the weapons and the abilities won't be that entertaining because like you're lucky if you can get one grenade. But does it get interesting with the variety of gameplay here? Uh, you have a variety of weapons. You have you can brainwash enemies, which is kind of perfect. Yeah. How does that work? Well, first you have to capture them, capture enemy agents, and you bring them back. And you have kind of a s facility that you're upgrading, um, and Play you can. Up do a bunch of different things to them. You can put like a location tracker into their brain and so then Ooh. and then release them and then they'll kind of help you uncover where the uh, enemy cells are that they're working out of. Cool. And I'm just not doing it anything right now. Uh, I got to pay attention. Focus yeah. on the mission at hand. We'll be looking at those menus later on. Yes. The base stuff. Yeah. For now we're going to watch Burger go about his business. It's Burger time, baby. Yeah, so no, actually he already moved. It's not burger time. It's coyote time, baby. It's sea bass time, baby. That's right. <laughs> uh, so this mission that we started on is I'm um, basically infiltrating uh, an enemy cell. And so there are seven enemies, and you basically just have to kill them all. And then you're done with the mission. And just to be clear, are the enemies windows? Because it seems to be the main thing you're taking out so far. <laughs> yes, you can jump in and out of enemy windows. Actually, you can jump right through yeah. the windows, and no one seems to care about that. So, <laughs> wonderful. It's a dystopia uh, universe that they've set up. Now, Coroner seems to be in trouble. One of your one of your operators here, Coroner. Uh, can you, if you can, tab over to him? What's, what's going to happen here? <laughs> Not a good place for a spy to <laughs> she's, be. <laughs> she's fine. This actually, uh, you can see like the red border in rooms like this. That's a that's where there ah. would be considered trespassing Restricted. if you go in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, but man. some of the characters, like of me, can you? Burger, who's a real creep, and I apologize for that, <laughs> he's wearing a disguise so he can go in and out of those areas freely. Paging Dr. Hitman. <laughs> That's right, exactly. <laughs> You're saying uh, all the right words. <laughs> so. I think this looks pretty solid so far. It's so tough to, like, you know... I don't want to say rip off XCOM, but I'll say rip off XCOM Enemy Unknown and not yeah. have it be a janky mess. But this looks surprisingly solid. It is, uh, and it has its own feel thanks to the emphasis on stealth. Yeah. Where if you get into combat, uh, which we probably will. Oh, oh my soon. God. Yeah. Oh, well, no. Uh, Jesus, Martha. Well, we got to do it. I was just thinking about you. Ugh. See? What was Burger talking about? I was just thinking about being controlled yeah, so by a godlike <laughs> being. So you can he was just praying. Amy. You can choose voices to customize your agents, and one of them was creepy. And I thought, well, that would be funny. Oh. So I picked it for Burger, and then I've regretted it ever since because he just says the grossest things. That now, you why do you associate hear. creepy guys with burgers, Jeff Marky Five? I've been meaning to ask you. No, there's nothing. Uh -huh. Don't right. read into it. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't read into Game Informer around 2013. <laughs> uh. So those are other NPCs that aren't? These are civilians, but basically they will alert everyone if they see something bad happen. Gotcha. Uh, you can see it, when you highlight a character, it will show you the path where they're going next. So you can... Is that an upgrade or do you always have that uh, for That's everybody? always there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Any sort of dunk the basketball options once you get in there? No. There's no net, which Roll is up, please. which is gaming language for you can't play basketball here. I'm used to there it's being nothing baseball. but net. Ah. <laughs> Hanson's on the court. <laughs> Much more applicable. Uh, you can also yeah, me too. knock people out silently, and that comes in handy for agents have a lot more health. <laughs> Very loud. Enemy agents have a lot more health, and so you probably, and they can do, kind of dodge shots, which is this whole mechanic. This game has a lot of systems in it, which makes it yes very complicated, and it takes a long time to kind of get going for you to understand everything that's going on. Yeah. Just can't get it, is there like a larger storyline going on here? What, what's, your, yes. what's your goal here? Yeah, there is. So this is kind of one of the procedurally generated missions that will just pop up, but then there are certain story missions which can actually be kind of a pain because they'll throw surprises at you that you're probably not ready for, where they'll just kind of kick you straight into combat and things like that. Okay. Is that a certain character's special ability to hide a body like that? Uh, no, anyone can do that. And okay. so th that kind of helps with the stealth aspect of it so that you're not leaving dead bodies everywhere. Yeah, it's interesting you don't have to find a spot for yeah, it. Yeah. It oh, certainly yes. doesn't make any kind of thematic sense, but it is helpful. I bet. Uh, so knocking out or killing these guys, it doesn't matter. As long as you quote-unquote eliminate them. Yeah. What uh, does knocking if, seven if, guys out do? <laughs> if you knock them out there, you're automatically dead if they're an enemy. If it's a civilian, then they're just knocked up. So I don't know how that works. Hmm. But it's handy. I think there's some science it is behind handy, it. Yes. A system <sighs> indeed. <laughs> Leo, are you uh, salivating yet over this one, buddy? A little bit. Really? A little bit of salivation. It, it is not the most exciting game to demo in this kind of situation. Right. As you I get it. I would guess, but... Is there good customization? Do you feel attached to any of your characters? You... I mean, you can customize them however you want. You become attached just based on their stats mm -hmm. and kind of their perks, which can be super, super helpful. So, like... Uh, stupid creepy burger <laughs> yep uh he he has an actor perk which basically means that agents can't see through his costumes because uh oh, normally other spies could without that yeah disguises? the normal guards can't but the special spies who are a real pain in the butt um could sure. normally see through them sure and so that makes you know i have a couple characters like that who are extremely useful for sneaking into areas and stuff like that and i presume if they die they're gone for good they are gone forever awesome hey. yep love it they also Jesus have burger i i'm telling you he's the worst i have considered <laughs> firing him just because of how creepy he is but stupid can, creepy burger. i need his abilities so. can we kill him okay. now oh what would that look like if you if you roasted a burger here that's a that's a oh, throw him on the gosh. grill that's a better phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Roast a burger on the open fire. <laughs> yeah, they won't let me sh actually shoot him. Um, oh, I might be able bad. to... Can you have him shoot at like a rubber pad that'll bounce the bullet back at him? Yeah, or no. just like drink from that tank of gasoline right next to him. <laughs> um, if I... Let's select a character that has a grenade. Yes. 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 I'll do it. Go long, yeah, burger. Oof, Coyote's getting ugly over here. So dumb. <laughs> yep. Over here. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have... I would not say that, for, but just for the record, Hanson. Oh, really? Your impression of me is I could use a little bit of work. <laughs> All right, I'm really I would trying. say something really cool and, and smart there. I, I have so many notes of things you would say in these situations. <laughs> I've just been going off those. Okay, we don't want to actually hit Coyote. There we go. Oh, that's a close call, man. <laughs> ja! Did that do oh. anything? Uh, let's see. Where were they? Alerted people. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's, he's mostly dead, so we can leave him for dead. For dead. <laughs> and we will incoming. just abort the rest of the mission. That sounds perfect. Great. Let's go see those menus. Uh, yeah, so, so basically you set up your evac, and then it will take a certain amount of time for them to get there. Once you're in combat, they will continue sending waves of enemies at you. Also, you can Infinite see there's, yeah, there's kind of a countdown timer, so you have a little breathing room. But basically, once you get into combat, uh, you just have to get out of there. 
Hmm. Now, you're playing on PS4, and even though I said it's not that janky, it looks like there is a little bit of slowdown, a little bit of chug every once in a while. Is that just the rain map, or is that throughout the entire game? Uh, it depends. It seems like there's a bug, basically, where if you hover over certain areas, sometimes it might slow down a little bit. But otherwise, it runs uh, surprisingly good. I haven't had any any glitches or crashes or anything like Runs that. as well as Burger, just <laughs> yep. run across that floor. I should, I should note that I have like the faster animations turned on, so okay. normally they w people Ooh. won't uh, run so stupidly fast while you're playing. Gotcha. That's important to know. Just to ask a, a Leo question here. Sure. How uh, viable is it to, to say, I'm only going to take the stealthiest missions and I'm going to try to be as unnoticed as possible? Do you end up having to kill a lot of people, or can you do, like, actual sneak operations? You can do sneak operations for most of the missions. Basically, I think pretty much there are just a couple story missions where they will kick you into combat, and usually that's, uh -huh. like, at the end of the mission when you have to escape anyway, but otherwise I have been playing most of the missions just knocking people out and avoiding people, and it's super fun uh, when you play like that. So, oh, Cool. God does you know Burger what? need to get evacuated? No. We're going to bring him out Just and find someone to shoot him. Yeah, <laughs> but make sure he can see the evac van going by just so he knows that we don't want him there. Yeah. Can you have Seabass throw him yeah. in that dumpster? Let's, let's just... <laughs> there we go. See you, Burgie. Oh. Enough. Burger. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Critical state. Guys, I kind of feel bad. No. No, don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had to be done. <laughs> We're morally in the right. What uh, what year does this game take place in? Is it modern day? It's the 80s. It is the 80s, yeah. okay. There's a whole dodge mechanic which uh, kind of uses this focus meter that refills uh, as you're playing. And so that, there are no actual like random dice rolls, you know, determining okay. whether your shots hit or anything, but you have this kind of dodge meter that's based on various stats and stuff. You can't see the enemy stats, so you, there's still kind of guesswork of whether, you know, your shot's going to hit and do maximum damage or not. But um, And there is straight up Overwatch from yeah XCOM. Yeah, so that... And that's cool because you kind of pick the direction that, you're, that you want to go in, or you can put it specifically on a character that you want to just focus if that guy moves you'll just shoot that guy oh cool um, if they're behind cover or whatever yeah cool and so yeah, let's we will try <laughs> now there's a voice I can get behind yeah, yeah. I could use that in my head every day yeah so this is going to be a failed mission this is going to be a super failed mission well, Sad. We'll see what happens. But at least we have no more burgers. So. Yeah, it's a net positive. Yep. Yeah. This is from a team called uh, Creative Forge Games. And they did Hard West, which I remember seeing a couple of years ago. Of people saying like, hey, it's kind of like a Western style game, but it's XCOM inspired as well. Uh, so it's cool that they're carving out space in this genre here. Yeah, I, w I was... Initially overwhelmed by all of these systems, but as I've kind of learned stuff through trial and error, uh, it, it has really grown on me, and all the systems interlock in interesting ways. So yeah, it certainly looks like more error than trial going on here, buddy. Yeah, this was this is not how you want to play. This looks like the low point of the game. Also, when you're watching that enemy activity bar go up very very slowly, yeah, and nothing's happening. Does yeah. that happen a lot? Uh, no, and it will it'll go much faster if you're not. Um, screwing it up and you have a million enemies. Gotcha. They're around. So we'll just leave everyone else behind. Great. Sweet. I don't think the van's going to take off. It'll refuse. We, we got one person out of there. That's <laughs> So that person who was downed in the evac zone, they don't get taken out? No. Well, you. I think you can carry them out. Mm. But you have to actually pick them up? Yeah. So that's not good. Four agents left behind. Well, that's just your opinion, but hey, Phantom Doctrine. Yeah, yeah. It's tough out there, man. You've yeah. never been a spy before. <laughs> it's your first time. You're just playing a simulation. Yeah. Don't read these notes. That's all spoiler stuff. Hansen oh, is that true? Blur that out, yeah. 
because it's like going for further in the game yeah oh my god leo what does it say on there that's wild wow so jesus has risen at this point yes (laughs) interesting pretty cool and he's related to burger (laughs) yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so Burger's dad. if you go through the lockers and, and get information, you'll kind of get different items and a bunch of different perks and stuff that you can get from there. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That's not how it should look at the end of a mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Seabass got out too, though. Well, that's good. I nice. like the idea of having this super sad soundtrack too, but I'd imagine it's still a sad saxophone, even if you are playing well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, this is nothing like XCOM. It's a horizontal base rather than a <laughs> yep. vertical one. Uh, and so you manage your different characters. Uh, you can forge your own money. There's all oh. kinds of different upgrades that you can purchase. Can you please there? just go through every room one by one? No. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, you'll have <laughs> these boards where you have to connect the dots between all the different conspirators. Really? Is that things. fun? It is for a while. Uh, the information that are in these documents isn't doesn't really have anything specific to do with the story. It's just kind of you're picking out the words and then you're connecting the words huh. between the things. Uh, but that will also give you different perks and stuff. Can you show us thing. that? Can you do one correctly? Since you, this is an yeah. earlier save than you were yeah, actually Yeah, sure. Uh, so let's see. I just want to see what that's that's like. Oh, goes there. And then you can move them around. And if you go, th- if you figure them all the way up to, it will correspond to one of the kind of red ones at the top there. Huh. Different organizations. I yeah. don't know if I've ever done this in a game. That's kind of cool. And Font Terrible is in there. Yep. Really? Big crossover with Metal Gear. Very, very uh, cool. And then, cool. Yeah, that's, we botched that mission so bad that now my hideout is exposed, so that's not good. <laughs> uh, but so this is the world map where basically you'll see these little red icons will pop up. Those are different missions, and you can send your agents out. Unlike XCOM, you, you kind of send individual agents to different areas on the map, and that will help you get to you know, a location faster because the mission, you know, the different locations have kind of a timer associated with them. Oh, Burger came back. What? From the dead? Come on. Yeah, he, I guess he was just injured. And oh so God. he made his way back like a bad penny. You can't, you can't get rid of that guy. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Actually. Can't take a hint, this guy. We can. We'll just dismiss this guy. From life? From life. Okay. Yeah, it's great that you crawled get back to here. the base, Burger. You're fired. <laughs> His guts are left there. in the street. <laughs> so he's gone. Uh, this is where you can actually... Sorry, this one. You can brainwash your characters or implant them with a bomb that they will then go deliver to an enemy cell. Ah. All kinds of grotesque wow. things that you shouldn't do to people. You can execute them. Yeah. Just Lord. get rid of them. Wow. How, how evil are the evil people helpful. in this game? Do you want to execute them? Uh, they're... Pretty much just like your agents, but they're Damn. working for someone else. So who's the real enemy is the question. No. Damn. That's but the biggest so, system of all. Yeah, there is a lot to unravel and unpack. It has been a very long game, but uh, it's kept me engaged the entire way so far. So I will absolutely be trying this. This looks extremely up my alley. Perfect. And your reviews on the site, Jeff, or will be soon? It will be soon, yes. Okay, look I'm, forward to it, everybody. Yep, I'm working towards the end, so... Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you, Thank Leo. You. We'll catch you regularly for more episodes of New Gameplay Today. Bye!